Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Join all the videos and content we produce, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on that like button, and don't be afraid to share. Don't forget to click on the notification button, customize it however you want, but that way you're notified whenever we publish another video. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's weekly challenge drift number 283. We are uh, barbarians, let's take a look. We look to be the Hammer of the Ancients build. Recognize the pieces, so we have largely, mostly what we need. So basically this is a Legacy of Dream build, so here's the gem here. For those that aren't familiar, the Legacy of Dream gem is while you have no set bonuses equipped, every legendary item increases your damage dealt by X percent and reduces your damage taken by 2%. At rank 25, that effect would be doubled, but we are only rank 22, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we have no set bonuses because we have One Piece Raycore, One Piece Savage, which is fine. Uh, and then the Hammer of the Ancients Sanctified Affix is basically every 10th hammer that we hit hits everything in all directions and so it's got some nice AOE um, we are using band of might so if we have stomp that'll give us some survivability uh, we being of the trapped is rank three not really going to do anything boon of the hoarder not going to do anything what else do we got we have a leorx which will help with our wrath of berserker and then we have an obsidian which will help us get in as well they did not okay so we do have whirlwind so that's good so basically, you want to have both your Wrath Berserker up and your Call of the Ancients, and then stomp to get your Band of the Might proc. You put up Battle Rage Bloodshed, and then you would just start swinging your hammer. So as you can see here, it's kind of slow going, but every tenth one does that big shockwave. And also, we're going to be able to spin using Whirlwind, which is also going to help with the obsidian keep our stuff off CD, but we're going to kind of just spin, kind of gather things up and then start swinging the hammer. And it looks like it should be pretty much a one shot mechanic. I'm gonna change my buttons here before I go into it, but this is the gist of it. So put up both Call of the Ancients, Wrath of Zerker, and then start smashing things and things will just die. I don't think we're gonna have the CDR in order to keep them up all the time, uh, and then when they're down, we're just going to spin and hammer as we can. Uh, and then, of course, stomp to proc our band of might. But it should be pretty simple here. So let's get to it. So one trick you can do before you go in there, if you want full fury, is just get a little bit. If you are unable to cast it off the start, just stomp on some ads, get a little bit of fury. And then you can just smash the ground and get to full fury that way. And now we'll just jump in and let's go. We have 5 minutes and 17 seconds. Shouldn't really be an issue here. We just one smash, two, like, and then just everything dies. If you really want, you can just kind of walk around and every so often give a stomp. Or sorry, even well, a stomp to proc your band of might, but even just swinging the hammer. And then eventually it's just going to shockwave out and kill everything. Uh, this is a crappy map though. So we picked the worst possible way. Let's keep going here. We got a shield pylon. Still no nems. One day they'll give it to us. There we go. It kind of just shocks out in front. Kills everything. We're just going to keep on going. Hope next map is a lot better. Prob well, I mean, as long as it's got elites for us. Keeps just swinging. All right, we finally got our Wrath of the Zerker and call the Ancients back up. Of course, then the thing just dies, but we're just gonna keep on moving. Maybe we'll run into another one. Perfect. So I'd almost just save your Wrath of the Zerker and 
all the ancients so that uh, when they're, you run into an elite, that way you can make quick work of them. Trash doesn't seem to take that much, but I'm actually going to try something here and just stagger them. Now oh, that doesn't look like that's working particularly well. They're going to use both. Because after all, when they're both active, you get that big damage buff. So I was just trying to maximize the cooldowns, but it doesn't look like it was going to be in the cards. So we're just going to keep going. So we're getting close to our 10 stack, or 10th hit. There it is. Which is why I'm kind of just spinning around using one every on the regular. See if we can find another lead or something. There we go, it takes care of them. I'm just kind of counting in my head the uh, ground hits that I've done, just because I want every tenth one is going to be the big AoE. There we go. A little bit behind here. This is not the um, fastest build. And the, ma the maps have been terrible. So I just want to get my 10 hits in there to get rid of all those. Keep going here. So I, there we go. Starting to pick up the pace here. Next map, yet again. There we go. So there was nothing there. Run the other way. So if you come to that point, just remember, go left. Don't bother going right. Ah, oh, we were almost within range. All right, just two shot that thing. Keep going. Get our nice big hit off. Probably got another map here. And four or five. Oh, now they give us that, the festering. Just sitting here till we get our 10th hit. There we go. That should take care of that. And we're going to have 30 seconds to spare. There we go. Just under 30. Not the quickest map to do. Could have did a little bit better with a slightly better route. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Walking around trying to get a hammer every so often. So that when you get a little bit of a stack going, your 10th hit will go off. And then you can just proc it and... That massive shockwave will take out everything that's around you. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, we appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. And of course, come find me on Twitch. We're streaming pretty much daily. So come hang out and let's have some fun. So until next time, I hope you're enjoying Diablo 3 Season 27. And we'll see you at the next video.